All right, guys, we're in Central Park here, and I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks so you can avoid getting scammed from these apartment scams in New York City. Don't fall for it like I did. It's not a fun lesson, so let's start going here, all right? I'm gonna be telling the story of how I just lost $8,500 coming to New York City. I was involved in an apartment scam, um, so this is gonna be a depressing story. I got my story right here, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try and stay positive. I'm gonna try and stay upbeat my normal self. It all started two weeks ago. I was a young man, a man of hope, excited. I had moved to New York City, my dream. <laughs> all right, let me, let me, all right, scratch that. Let, let's get back to positivity. So quick summation on my end, guys, of what happened to me and, and my apartment. Um, I, I posted on a Facebook sublet group, like, hey, I need a place for three months um, starting in October got a bunch of real estate agents replying to me saying oh they could help me out um, you know I, I don't trust any of that anymore <laughs> um, I found someone that looked reputable um, she was saying you know she had some good places she was showing me looked like a good good deal I was excited about it she sent me real pictures a real video walkthrough um, and then she told me that I could actually view the apartment so I was like oh perfect this is not a scam because I can view the apartment and I said probably too quickly I'm good to go um, so I didn't wait for like the scam part where she probably was gonna say, yeah, someone's living in there, you can't do it. I just said, all right, let's go ahead with it. So I filled out the application. A couple days later, I was approved. Um, it all looked legit. So it was uh, very well done, very well done on that side of things. <laughs> this is an obvious one, but I, I already, I did it, um, but maybe not as well as I thought I did. Research prices across New York City before you actually go ahead with it. So you make sure you know is the, um, is the deal too good to be true or is it um, actually a good price for that area? So try to figure out the ranges of where you're going. And I'm still reeling from this loss. Uh, I'm about to tell the story right now in a second, but if you wanna help me, little thing you can do, just like the video. Like the video, subscribe, comment, anything like that helps me because I would love, love, to make YouTube my full-time profession. So something like that helps me get to my dream and makes this loss that I'm going through, this depressing time, a little bit easier. So please do that for me. All right, let's get into the story here. So I got this apartment all booked. Uh, I had paid $8,500 for it. Um, so I'm good to go. So I'm in Austin, Texas to start. I'm there for training for my new job. After training, Friday, I had a flight to New York City with all my bags, three large suitcases and a backpack coming to New York City. I land at 11 o'clock, get into New York City. I'm excited, I'm, I'm this young guy, I'm, I'm in New York City, the Big Apple, I'm ready to go. I'm, I've got all my bags, I'm nervous, I'm, I'm excited, adrenaline and all that is great. I'm texting the agent that I had dealt with and the agent completely was not replying at all. Um, so I'm starting to get nervous because I'm supposed to be meeting them in 30 minutes to 30 to 45 minutes. They're not replying. They then block me so I can't contact them anymore. I'm starting to freak out. This is all happening as I'm in the taxi going into Manhattan. And so I start calling every number I have throughout the process. All right, guys, if you're adamant about, you know, booking the apartment before living in New York City, here's the best tip I can give you. Make sure you call everyone throughout the process. So call the real estate agent you're dealing with, call people on the leasing application, make sure it's a legit operation. Um, don't just trust that it's all going well just because you're hearing everything um, you know that you want to hear. That's kind of what I fell into. I was like, oh, this all looks legit, looks legit, looks legit. And then all of a sudden I was scammed. So make sure you're calling everyone throughout the process. Like there's three, four different numbers on the lease. There were other people I was dealing with in the process. Those numbers are disconnected or they're going right to voicemail. So I'm freaking out. Nothing's, I don't know what to do. I'm calling my parents. I'm about to have a breakdown pretty much. Um, I call my parents. Um, this is, you know, I'm so fortunate to have such great parents that were in this position. They, they got me a hotel that night. So I had a place to crash and just figure out what's going on. So I, I got to a holiday inn at like 12.30 at night. Um, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sad, I'm depressed. I honestly just wanna cry. I, I just wanna let it all out and just like go home and just be like, all right, New York just kicked me right out in one day. <laughs> um, I didn't, I stuck it out. But so I get there, I drop the bags, I pass out, I sleep. Uh, I wake up the next morning. I, I can't get in contact with anyone again. I'm calling everyone. 
I go to the building that I have the sublet and I can't get in, I can't get into the apartment. Uh, I see a number for the landlord. I call them and they haven't been the landlord there for two years. No matter what, just make sure you view the apartment or have a friend in New York City that's viewing the apartment. I would say that's priority number one. Always view the apartment beforehand. Um, if you can't, I was trying to do it like away from New York City. Just book an Airbnb or book a hotel for a while while you're looking for a place. I would say that's the number one thing that you should do. Um, even though it's not the most convenient, just trust me on it, all right? <laughs> Don't try and do what I did. Um, you know, if, if you're adamant about booking something beforehand, make sure you're using reliable sources. Um, ask me if you have any questions, just comment below. I'm happy to help you guys out with anything you need because I just went through the process. This is a scam. I, I, I have been scammed. I have lost the money. It, it's gone. Um, this is, these are the next steps I take. Immediately get back to the hotel. Um, I, I book it for three more nights. I had to go to a different Holiday Inn because they were booked up. Just book something quick, just so I have a place where I don't have to go scramble and leave it and have to deal with this all again. So three nights buys me a little time. Go book that, big hit money-wise. Go relax for a couple days. Not relaxed. <laughs> I take that back, there was nothing relaxing about this. I then am calling my banks. I am reporting this this fraud, this apartment scam. Uh, I then called the police, re reported that, um, reported it on Facebook. Basically just reported everything, every name, phone number I could in a lot of different avenues. Um, I don't think anything's gonna come of it, to be honest. I am then calling three different places to freeze my credit because in the apartment process, I gave my social security number out so they could open bank accounts in my name or they could have access to stuff. So I froze my credit. Um, I then moved some money around. Uh, they, someone tried to get into my Venmo. <laughs> Guys, this is, don't ever get apartment scanned. It's the worst thing in the world. As I tell this story, I'm like miserably depressed. <laughs> I feel like I'm going through it again. Day three in New York, leaving my hotel, the Holiday Inn, going to my, my, family friends place for two weeks in Upper East Side while I keep looking for a sublet. So I've got all my bags, waiting for an Uber. Just got a haircut, I'm exhausted. And um, we're gonna keep the New York journey going, but it's been a tough couple days. <laughs> so that's the story. <laughs> Incredibly depressing. I don't want anyone else to go through this. Um, and I, I'm fighting with my banks, right? Or not fighting, I'm trying to get the money back from my banks. Um, it, it could be a long process. I don't know what's gonna happen there. Be careful out there, guys. Uh, I haven't given up on New York. This is just the beginning of my journey. I will bounce back. This is my vow. I will bounce back. Call the girls, gonna bounce back. You know, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Um, next video, I'm gonna be positive. I promise I'm gonna be positive in the next video. So um, this is just this one, um, but I'm having a blast in New York. So there are benefits, but don't fall for apartment scams. Do not fall for apartment scams.